Hello, I'm Chris Rice, and I'm standing here with Anita. And Anita um, has been in our program here, and then she just recently got housed. Tell folks about the blessing about how you got housed in your apartment. Oh, God is so good. And I thank you for that opportunity um, to promote growth and prosperity while being in your company. You just don't know how much I appreciate it. But I um, just took my time and put my pennies together and uh, through this program was afforded the opportunity to then get my own uh, home after the um, enrolling in the 90 day uh, work program here at uh, New Life. And you're still coming back to volunteer here too. Yes, indeed. You know, a scripture teaches us give and it shall be given. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, together running over, shall men give unto your bosom. I was so blessed to be housed through this program. So yes, I return every Monday and Wednesday so far. I was talking to Chris earlier, thinking about changing it to Wednesday and Friday because the programs of uh, communion and worship services are very important to us as Christians. Um, however, presently it is Monday and Wednesdays uh, to volunteer in the free store, still working with the ladies and the children. And uh, of course, the opportunity to, to sup together with my brothers and sisters in communion on Wednesdays. So Anita, what would you say to people who say, oh, this is a nasty place to be, it's a dirty building, nobody gets any help there, nobody ever gets housed, they just stay in the shelter. What would you say mm -hmm. to those people? That's sad. That is so sad, and I've heard those negative rumors. But the truth of the matter is, it's just a lie from the pit of hell. Okay, I've had the experience, a very positive, nurturing experience of living here and working here. And nothing's perfect, but it's also only what you would make it be. The women are wonderful in doing chores, cleaning up behind ourselves and keeping the place impeccable as it can be with so many different visitors running in and out. Uh, the floors are mopped daily. The toilets are scrubbed twice a day. And, and my admonition, I don't want anything jumping up biting me, so I help with my chores as well. The bedrooms are kept, you know, if you don't make up your bed, it's an indication that you aren't coming back. In my own home, I didn't make up my bed on purpose this morning because of the freedom that I had. But to make up your bed, to have a bed to sleep in is a blessing. And all that other fictitiousness is just that, fictitious, because you have the opportunity in between working in your program to make whatever telephone calls necessary to secure employment as well as, well as uh, living conditions such as I had. I had the opportunity to speak to even young women to make sure that they understood when you see me sitting up at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning on your way to the bathroom, then you should take the hint and get a clue and start looking out for yourself mm -hmm. as well as what it is that you are obligated to do for this free room and board and meals. I gained 10 pounds. It's sad, but I have. But room and board and meals, so why lose, would you? Now you can lose weight. Now that I can lose sleep. weight. <laughs> now that I'm well, in my own home. God bless you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank Praise you God. so much. I All mean, right. it's priceless, mm -hmm. the gifts that has been bestowed upon you. Amen. I thank you so All much. All right. Thank you. <laughs>